Welcome to this new segment of discovering OpenEDX with Edunex. In this video, we're going to focus on how to access OpenEDX Studio and how to make sure that you have permission to create and modify courses. Let's go on the address bar of your browser and type in your studio URL. In this case, we're using Edunex Cloud subscription and our URL is studio.edunex.co. Just click on sign in, type your credentials and proceed. Now we're on the Studio homepage. The first thing you should learn is to find out if you have course creation permission. If you have permission as I do, you'll see the green button on the top right corner that lets you add a new course. If you don't see this button for some reason, you'll need to request it to your support team. If you don't need to create a new course but to modify an existing one, you should be able to see that course listed over here in the Courses tab or maybe in the Archived Courses tab. Having a course listed in any of these tabs indicates that I'm part of the course team. So I have permission to edit the course contents. I can get in the course just by clicking on its name. The same applies to libraries. Here you'll know I do have permission to create new libraries, which is why you see this second button here. In case any of you guys don't have it, you need to confirm with your support team if you should have this specific permission. For EduNext class descriptions, this only granted after the account has been upgraded. Finally, I can also see listed under this tab all the libraries I can modify. In this case, the list is empty. So I've not been granted permission over any existing library yet. Remember that whenever you create a course or library, you automatically get edit permissions for that new object. I hope this gets you started. See you in the next section.